Hey everyone, so I just stepped outside my balcony door and this is what we see. I don't know if you guys can see them out there, but there are a couple zebra hanging out in the shade. Quite a few zebra. There's some zebra there. There's an ostrich. Just kind of sitting there. Just little zebras. They were laying down a while ago. And then if we go way over here, there's another zebra. Oh, a couple of them. Over in the trees. Just hanging out. And here's our ostrich friend. He came a little closer. He's eating. He's like oblivious to people. They must be like so trained or something. Of course, I'm not down there in the grass with him, so that could be why. Okay guys, it's about noon, actually a little afternoon, and I slept in a little bit this morning, so I'm just getting ready to head out, and while I do that, I'm enjoying some coffee. I'm having a one smart point cup of coffee. I have three tablespoons of this sugar-free Italian sweet cream in the coffee. Remember, I did bring my handy-dandy measuring spoon with me on vacation. I also brought one of my favorite metal cups because I prefer my coffee in a metal cup because it stays hot longer, and I like mine super-duper hot. Hey, guys. So I am just hanging out on my balcony and, um, you know, just hanging out with that ostrich over there. Sam! Hello, mister! Um, just out here with my one point cup of coffee. We are getting ready to head out. I did not work out again today. Um, honestly, my stomach was a little bit upset this morning, so I just um, slept in and <laughs> I feel great about it. What is vacation for other than rest and relaxation, right? So, um, I slept in. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of laundry tonight, so I may try and um, work out while Eddie does laundry, or you know, I'll help him and then and then work out. There are some zebras coming over now too. Um, this is so beautiful. So I did not work out. Um, I will hopefully work out tonight. If I don't work out tonight, I will definitely work out tomorrow because Eddie has dialysis tomorrow. So I will drop him off and then just go right back and work out. Um, so tomorrow for sure. Um, I had a little cookie binge last night. I had um, some of those Chinese almond cookies. Um, we had brought them home from the sushi buffet that we went to the other night, or brought them to the hotel, and they were super delicious. Um, very soft and yummy, um, but they were three points each, and I had nine. I should have looked them up first, but I was drinking wine, and so I was carefree and happy. <laughs> so I had quite a few points yesterday. I'm still um, okay on points. Um, I can't remember how many, but I still have I still have quite a few fit points. Okay, so I still have 36 fit points left, um, and we'll hopefully earn a few more tonight. Today is Monday, so unless I go super crazy, um, I should stay within my weekly points again. That'll be two weeks in a row and the second week on vacation. That's awesome. So everything starts over tomorrow. So I should be fine on points, that's great. I have no idea what I'm eating today. Um, I actually need to go and make a couple wraps. To be honest, I'm getting a little burned out on the turkey wrap um, and even the peanut butter banana wrap, so. maybe need to rethink those or just suck it up and keep eating them because honestly that is what's saving me on my dinner points and my drinks is just being like super low throughout the day so I may just suck it up and keep eating them because it's working gotta stay within the points anyway we are very excited because <laughs> we are about to go to the cast member store um, there are actually two cast member stores. One is a regular store where um, we get, of course, discounted merchandise. The one that we go to in uh, Anaheim, there's one where everything is 50% off. Um, but there's also a place, a little 
Disney secret. Uh, it's called Property Control. <laughs> And you just get some really amazing and odd things there, but some amazing deals. Like a lot of times, a lot of times they'll have hats for $4, all kinds of hats and ears and um, everything for $4. I got me some mini socks for $2. They have weird stuff like furniture stuff from the hotels, um, random decor from the parks. A lot of interesting things so we're super excited to actually go to property control over here and see what we can find I'm hoping for a Disney World t-shirt of some sort I got my super cute ears yesterday so that's cool but that's the plan um, and then we're also going to Animal Kingdom at some point today too so it's just a relaxing mellow day and I will check in with you guys later so I literally just said I'm kind of getting burned out on the peanut butter banana wraps. Well, guess what? This handy dandy fridge froze the top half of my bananas. So the top is frozen. The bottom, I don't know. I don't know if these are going to be good later when they thaw. So I may be done with bananas for now. So here's what I'm taking instead. I'm not taking a wrap at all today, um, but fruit still sounds pretty good. So I have two oranges here that I peeled and sectioned. I'm going to take those and I'm going to take some grapes and then we'll probably find a snack at some point today. Guys, I'm so excited. We just got out of the cast member store. It's called Cast Connection and only cast members and their guests and spouses can go. We got so much stuff, so much stuff. And get this, we got, I think it was $172 worth of Disney merchandise for $43. How cool is that? There's so many things I want to show you, but we got a lot of gifts. So I can't show you everything, but I'm going to show you my favorite stuff. Okay, first of all, this is super cute. This is a Disney Cruise Line shirt. It says, Minnie Mouse Ahoy. This I'm pretty sure you will never find in California. So I got this at 11. Um, yeah, why are you so far away? So we can get a full view. My legs? No, so we can get the shirt. Okay, then I also got, so we've been carrying around Walt Disney World some cheap little black backpack that I got at a race, so not very cute. I got this. Da -da -da. Oh, it's all folded up. Walt Disney World backpack. Yay, you won't find this in California either. Super cute, and we can fold it up when we don't need it. So this is where all my wraps and fruit and water and everything is going tomorrow. This was, um, I think this was like $4. $4. Did I tell you how much this shirt was? I don't remember. This shirt was originally $35. I got it for $8.99. Super cool. Amazing deals. Then I got this little pen. This is the Rockin' Roller Coaster Pin. I haven't even gone on the ride yet, but I had to have the pin because we don't, number one, we don't have Rockin' Roller Coaster ride at all in California. And number two, it's a pin. I won't get this pin for this cheap ever. The pin was like $4. I think most of the pins are about $15 to $20, so good deal. Then I got that. That's cool, right? This is a, it's like a rubber spatula. It's a Mickey hand. It was $9.95, so I think I got it for like $2.50. $2.50. Nice. Yay. And I'm gonna let Eddie show you what he got. I got so many other cool things, but I just can't show you because they're gifts, so later. Eddie, what'd you get? Oh, I got, I got four pins and they were about a dollar a piece. It was a two pack. Um, I got a Mickey pin, which is an a uh, LOL pin. Then I also got a, um, another pin here and this is a bummer pin. Oh, bummer. And then I got another one, which is a grr pin. And then I got one that is too cool. 
So that's the two cool pin right there. Um, so yeah, that's what I got as a pin. Hey, Eddie. Yes? What'd you get at the cast connection? Oh, I got a little lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, he is totally taking those on the plane. Guess who's not going to help him with that? Are you scared? Yep. I'm scared too. Are you scared? Yes. I'm scared too. Oh, hold on to your phone. Eddie's afraid of heights. I can't video this. Yay, Eddie, you did it. Good job. Are your eyes open? Of course not. Ah! <laughs> of course not. My eyes were closed most of the time. That was really high. Especially when I went backwards. And it's really bright out here too. Welcome to Florida. That went backwards. I didn't know it was going to go backwards. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's almost seven o'clock and I've had one smart point in my coffee. I had the grapes and I had the oranges. So I've had one smart point so far all together today and Eddie says I'm getting hangry. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have half of this. Eddie says this is um, not quite two of the Rice Krispie size Rice Krispie treats. 
I can't talk. I must be getting hungry. So I'm going to count half of this as three smart points. One of the little Rice Krispie treats in the bag is four smart points. So if this is not, half of this is not quite that size, I'm going to count three. So I'm going to eat half of this cute little Mickey Rice Krispie treat bar for three smart points. Hey guys, so here we are, end of the night, and we just had dinner. We are back in the hotel room. Um, as you can see by the photos I uploaded, dinner was African inspired again tonight. First of all, I'm so full, like really full. Like dinner tonight, um, dinner tonight was like, I believe $22 um, for all the food that I had. And then Eddie also had a hamburger, like a bacon cheeseburger with fries and two sides of couscous. Um, all of that for $22 versus last night's dinner, I believe it was around, um, I think maybe 60 to 70. And tonight we're both stuffed, totally stuffed. So, I mean, it's definitely the ambiance and the fine dining versus tonight we did, um, I think they call it casual dining, where you order and they still make it for you there, but then, you know, there's no service at the table. Um, so it's, I don't know, I guess it's just depends on what you want to pay and what kind of ambiance and what kind of dinner experience you want. I actually prefer to go to a, not necessarily a fine dining restaurant, but I love to sit down at a restaurant and be waited on and have some nice wine. So, um, but we're trying to mix it up a little bit so that we're not paying a hundred dollars per dinner while we're here at Disney. So tonight's meal was actually really, really good. Again, African inspired. I chose the African stew. It had a mixture of three different meats. Um, I believe it was pork and chicken, maybe beef, but there may have been some other African meat in there. Not sure, I don't remember the description. So it was like a three meat stew with a few vegetables and a few chickpeas, not very many chickpeas. Um, and it tasted really like curry, like almost like a curry chicken. Um, so it was very delicious. It was served over basmati rice. And then I also had a cup of carrot ginger soup, which was amazing. Honestly, I don't think it tasted like carrot. It tasted really sweet. Not really sweet. It was sweet, but amazingly creamy. It was really good, carrot ginger soup. So that's what I had for dinner. Here's how I counted the points. So for the African stew, I kind of thought, okay, maybe I'm gonna count it as beef stew because beef is one of the higher points meats. So if I just count it as beef stew with vegetables, it's gonna cover all the meats that are in the stew itself. So a cup of beef stew is seven smart points and that's per the tracker it's just a generic like canned beef stew so one of the higher points beef stew uh one point one cup seven points so then i was also thinking it kind of tasted a little bit like chicken curry so maybe i should count it as chicken curry when i looked up the chicken curry one cup was 12 points um I don't think that was 12 points of stew on top of a cup of rice. So I think the pointage from chicken curry probably comes from the fact that most chicken curry has coconut cream in it and co coconut cream is very high in points, very fatty. So I decided to do a little compromise. I'm still counting it as beef stew. I'm tracking it like a beef stew, but instead of just one cup, there was like one cup of the stew over one cup of rice. But just to be safe, I'm counting one and a half cups of beef stew for 10 smart points. So kind of just playing it safe, covering all my bases. So a cup of beef stew, beef stew for uh, 10 smart points. And then that was over one cup of cooked rice. So uh, rice is six smart points per cup. So we are up to 16 smart points. And then when I looked in the tracker for carrot ginger soup, most of the carrot ginger soups are four smart points per cup. So I counted four smart points. So that is 16, wait a minute, 10, 
<laughs> Sorry, I can't add tonight. So that's exactly 20 points for dinner. I had one smart point previously for the cream in my coffee, so that's 21 smart points. Then add the wine, because Julie's on vacation. I am going to have wine with dinner. So I had some wine with dinner, and my total is 46 smart points for the day. Um, and that brings my weekly total... Uh, I don't have like a, a total smart points, but that brings my end of the week total to having 31 fit points left. So once again, second week in a row, I am not negative. And that is amazing because I, yeah, for the new subscribers, I generally go negative on my points every week. And that's negative after using my weeklies and after using my fit points. So two weeks in a row. I have not been in the red. This week I am ending the week. My week ends on Monday night because Tuesdays are my weigh-in days. So Tuesdays all of my points start over. So I am ending my week tonight with 31 fit points left. Um, last week I ended with only 7 fit points left. So I'm getting a little better every week. So that's awesome. Especially considering that this week I am on vacation. So um, yay. That's where I'm ending my day. Um, I did not run again because I'm just exhausted like this um, I don't know I'm just tired this vacation is wearing me out all the walking and doing stuff and I even slept in a little bit this morning so it's funny because a few years ago um, maybe five ten years ago when we, we would go on vacation I would book something for us to do like literally every day every hour of the day and we were just go 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 and this vacation I feel like <laughs> I need a rest I'm like, I'm tired. So I didn't run again today, um, but I did still hit, I know I hit at least 14,000 steps the last time I looked, so I'm still doing okay on steps. Um, I am going to work out tomorrow morning because we need to wake up early tomorrow and take Eddie for dialysis, and I will do a run then. So tomorrow morning for sure. If I can do, so, so far I've had two days out of 13 on this vacation that I have not run. Um, so if I can just keep it around two days and then if I can start hitting it every day, then I'll feel better. But I think I also need to let myself know and remind myself that I need to work out in the morning or it's just not going to happen. Not when I'm on vacation. So the plan is to work out tomorrow, drop Eddie off super early in the morning and then go for a run. And then we have to clear out of this hotel. We're off to our third hotel, which is unfortunately not a Disney hotel. Um, but we got a really great deal on it, so I'm sure it will be just um, basic bare bones <laughs> standard hotel. I do hope it has a refrigerator because I need that for my food. Anyway, oh, and I hope it has a coffee pot. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me for tonight. Um, we are going to head down and do some laundry. I'm going to edit videos, and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. See what kind of fun stuff we have planned for tomorrow. Tune in. Bye. I am now speed walking the halls. Why? Because the soap machine in the laundry room only takes debit cards. So somebody needs to walk this mile long hallway, go all the way back up to our room, get the debit card. I volunteered, so I am speed walking this massively long hallway all by myself for some extra steps.